What's truly good with you guys? We're back again and you guys have been asking me how to get the Key 37 hooked up to Logic Pro, how to sync them and get the sound. So in honor of Apple's special event today, we're gonna cover that. This is going to be into three sections. So we're gonna get into the first section of this, which is the audio, how to get the audio from the MPC into Logic Pro. That's 100. What you're gonna need is two quarter inch cables and you're going to go two quarter inch cables out of your MPC and then you're gonna go into the input of your designated interface, whether that's a Focusrite, Apollo, uh, Arteria, whatever interface you're using. You wanna take the left and right out of the MPC and go into the left and right in of your interface or for this case, that's going to be channels one and two or three and four or how many channels you have on your interface. Once you do that, we wanna come into Logic Pro and you want to make sure that you have the proper interface selected. So what we're going to do here is command and comma. OK, and then this is going to bring up our preferences or our settings. So what we want to do is go into audio. So I have the Scarlett 18 I8 and I have that as my input and output device. Now, you can also use the key 37 as an interface as well. More on that a little bit later. So for this case, we're going to make sure that we have that selected. Then what we're going to do is option and command and in, which is the shortcut for a new track. And so what we're going to do is make sure that we have an audio track micro line. And then I have my MPC going into channels inputs one and two. So we're going to make sure that the output is to one and two from the Scarlet. Perfect. Now we're going to hit create. So now when I come over here to the MPC, let's just make sure we have sound here. So let's go to this stock kit here. All right, we now have sound from the MPC going into Logic Pro. So we're monitoring that right now. So what we're gonna do is load up my Chill Hop Kits. You guys already know what it is if you already got it. But if you don't, I'm gonna leave that tag below for you guys because this kit, trust me, you will not be disappointed. Now what we're gonna do is pull up a plugin. So we're gonna do a new track here and we're gonna do a plugin and I am going to load up the mini D. So we're gonna come over here to the new icon on 3.0, which is that over there for your sounds. We're gonna go to the mini D, then I'm going to go into bass and let's do more zap time. So if we were to use, let's say, Logic as the sequencer here, and we have a little something something, so let's say we want to do something like this. Perfect. Now we have that recorded from the MPC into Logic. Now you want to make sure that your levels are good. So you definitely want to gain stage and you can do this from your main volume and setting up the levels in your interface or if you have DSP. So just make sure that you're going into your DAW at a good volume. Now we're going to do the second implementation, which is to use logic as a sound module, if you will, to combine with what we're doing here on the MPC. So this is going to require us to have output from the MPC and logic. Now, what you're going to need, guys, is one cable, and that's just a USB 2.0 cable. And you're going to go from here into your computer. So what we want to do is change the track from wherever it is to MIDI. So we're going to come over here change that to MIDI is currently on MIDI right now. So that's selected. Then what we're going to do is change that MIDI port. And then I'm going to do USB port one. Now we have sound coming out of logic, but we're controlling it from the MPC. Now we have this available as a MIDI track. So let's say, let's just record a, a, a rough groove just to give us an example. Now 
Now let's add, let's say a VST from Logic. So what we're gonna do is change this from electric piano and we're gonna go into some sounds that we know we don't have access to. So let's go to Keyscape over here. Let's just do the grand piano for an example. Now we can record that along with the drum groove. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now we're going to add a little bit of bass to that. Let's add the... Here we go. Perfect. Now that we have that, we're going to talk about the third way that we can get this in here. So we already recorded audio from the MPC into Logic, but this time we're going to use the MPC software and we're going to use Logic and the MPC software together, if you will. So let's tap in on that. Now we're going to do a software instrument. Now this time we're going to do the MPC. So we're going to come down here to AU Instruments. Then we're going to go to a Kai Professional, MPC, and then we're going to do the multi out. Perfect. Now we're going to hit create. So this is going to pull up for us. Now we're going to park the car right here and we're going to have to do something in the MPC. So what we're going to do here is go to menu and we're going to put this in controller mode. So we're going to go ahead and tap this icon right over here. And so it's going to ask me if I want to save this. I'm not going to save. It. I could recreate this anytime. So I'm going to go ahead and hit don't save. Now for you guys, you please save it. Perfect. So now we're in controller mode. So what we're going to do is hit don't use Now, again, you can use the MPC as the interface if you would like. If you don't have an interface, then you can definitely use this. But in this case, we're not because we have the focus right. So we're going to hit don't use. Now we're going to follow a similar format. But the first thing we want to do is we want to go into our settings in the MPC. So we're going to come over here to the settings in the MPC DAW, if you will. So we're going to come over here to edit and then go to preferences. Now I'm going to come over here to hardware. So you can have it where the host controls the MPC software or you could do to MPC plugin. Now I have it set to MPC plugin for record and overdub. Now this is a little funny how this works, but you need to have logic running. You need to have a loop going in logic or whatever. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and come over here to logic. And I like to get like a four bar loop like this is perfect. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and come back to the MPC plugin and we're going to change this to four bars as well. Now we're going to need to load in some instruments. Now we're back on 2.0. Once again, at the time of recording this video, this is the current scenario. I'll make sure to do an updated video once the 3.0 software is out for desktop. So we're going to go ahead and load in our drum kit again. Perfect. So how this works is it's a little weird, but you need to have logic playing in the background. You need to have it running. So what I'm going to do is just hit the space bar and have that running. Now it's ready for us to control here so we can gets rid of the latency. And if we want to turn on the metronome to hear what's happening. So the BPM is at 97. Now it's connected to the host. So we need to change the BPM from logic. We'll do that same beat. So it's so on three, two, three, four, four, two, three. Here we go.
All right, let's add some uh, bass. Here we go. Let's add some keys. Here we go. Excellent. So now that we have that, we're going to get the stems from the NPC into Logic. And this will be the final step for you guys. Hope you guys are having fun, by the way. So let's get into it. What we want to do is start with these drums because these have multiple pads that we've used that we want as separate tracks. Now, remember when I told you guys to select the NPC as this multi output, this is where that's going to matter. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and exit out of the NPC software, hit the letter X on your keyboard. And here is where we're going to add these additional tracks. These are going to be the track outs, if you will, the, the ISO files of everything we did. We're going to route everything. So we're going to come over here to the NPC software now, and we're going to route these drums. Perfect. So what we can do is hit the mix twice on the key 37. And now we can play this. So there's our kick. So what we're going to do is change that output to, let's say, three and four. There's the snare. We're going to route this to five and six. You guys are kind of catching the pattern here. Now we're going to do uh, seven and eight for the open and closed hi-hat. Excellent. Now that we have that, we're going to go to the next track, which is our bass or our key group here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here to mix. You can come over here in the mix icon if you want in the DAW. Here's our key group. OK, so we're going to change that to the output of nine and ten. And then we're going to do the same thing with the roads here. Perfect. You guys are catching the pattern. I'm going to come over here to the mixer again. Perfect. So here's the roads. And then we're going to change this to eleven and twelve. Now we can come over here to our mixer in logic. Now we have all the track outs. Excellent. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and label these. There's the kick. So we can double click that, name it kick. Snare. Hi-hat. Now what we're going to do is change these from auxiliary channels to the channels in the arrangement view. So what we're going to do here is come over here to kick. Then we're going to shift and click to roads. Then we're going to right click on this and then we're going to do create track. So now we have these over here in the arrangement view. Now we got one more step, guys. I hope you guys are having fun. So the last step for you guys is we need to get this back locator area right here, this end uh, arrow. And we can put this, let's say, at like 33, bar 33. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bounce these in place. So what we're going to do is shift click from the kick to the roads. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is come over here to file and then we're going to go to bounce. Now, the shortcut may not always work in this specific scenario. So this is why I went up to that menu. So we're going to do tracks in place. Now, I usually turn the normalize off and then we can do this as new tracks. Perfect. And we could just go ahead and hit OK. And it's basically going to loop it out a few times. So and bam, we have all of the track outs for what we just did. So we have the original auxes plus the audio itself. Now, this is my old school workflow when I had the MPC Renaissance. 
So this is how it would work. So now we have these and we can solo and check it. Now, what I usually do in Logic is if I made a mistake or I need to go back and get something, what I'll do is I'll go to the original tracks that we have, shift click to the roads like we did before. I'm going to hit mute. Then I'm going to hit the letter H and this is going to bring up our high tracks. So now we can click the H on all of the highlighted tracks here. We can hit H again and now we're left with our current audio to work with. And once again, you can hit the letter H to bring it back up. If you made any mistakes in your routing, you can hit the letter H and boom, here's everything that you did before. And here is the new tracks. All right, guys, so I hope that this added value to you. If it did, give your brother a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you won't miss anything else on the channel. Love and appreciate you guys. I'll holler at you in the next one. Peace.